Oh, it's so beautiful today. <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's hot, girl. It is. We can sit in the shade right here if you want. Sitting will be good. Yeah. Brittany, um, I noticed on our entire walk that you're kind of quiet. You okay? Um, yeah, everything's fine. Everything is fine. It doesn't seem like it, and I am your bestie. You can tell me anything. What's up? Well, then, everything isn't fine. Okay. I'm listening. You remember earlier when we were talking about forgiveness? Yeah. I'm praying to after I tell you what I'm about to tell you that you'll forgive me. <laughs> Brittany, I'm sure I'll forgive you. We've been through a lot, so. <laughs> what could be so bad? So, well first let me say I love you. You're my best friend. There's nothing I wouldn't do to protect you to make sure that you're okay, that your happiness is intact. I, I love you, Amber. I love you too, Brittany. And I know, I yeah. know all those things. Yeah. Yeah. So, remember when I was in Anthony's office and we talked after that, I apologized. I said that I was gonna stay out of your business. <laughs> yes, you did. There's something I didn't tell you. And that's that I was already in your business. What are you talking about, Brittany? So, the day that I was in Anthony's office, I, I took something. You took something. So you're snooping and you're stealing. Well, no, I'm not a... Okay, fine. Uh, based on the definition of stealing, yes, I guess I stole something, but it wasn't something of value. I would never take anything from you in that way. There was this piece of paper on his desk and the piece of paper <clears throat> had written on it a date and an address. And I don't know why it was really just bothering me because I just felt like there was something about this address in this state. Okay, just stop right there. First of all, Anthony is in real estate. He writes down lots of addresses, lots of dates. Maybe it's a showing or an open open house or something. Like what? You that, just, I feel like you're reaching right now. That might be the case if I had not found more. So I looked up the address, right? And I Googled it, I wazed it, I map quested it. Like I looked all around and I couldn't find anything on this address. And I was like, why would there be an address? But I can't find it anywhere. And so I gave the address to my private investigator. Yo, what? Brittany, are you serious? I know, I know. Like but you are doing the most. This You're is right. my husband. What 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 do you, what are you trying to find? I Amber, I'm trying to find I'm trying to make sure I don't find anything. Okay, but why can't you just trust him cuz I trust him. Right. And and that's fine, except for like I said, I had already taken it and I had already given it <sighs> to my private investigator. Wow. So now he comes back to me and he says that he had to do a whole bunch of digging and he finally figured out that it was the address to an exclusive cabin in Tennessee, booked to a Mr. Anthony Dalton for a couple of days in the middle of June for two people. Amber, did, did Anthony say anything to you? Is he taking you on a trip? Did he say anything about a cabin in Tennessee? Not, not yet, not, no, I mean, what? Wait, maybe he's, maybe he's trying to surprise me. Like, Brittany, you always put your nose in people's business, and that's not where it belongs. I understand, and I'm, I'm going to stay out of it. But like I said, I had <sighs> already gotten this information, so here's what I'm going to do, okay? 
This is the address to the cabin, the directions, and the reservation information. Do what you want with this information, Amber. I'm not going to say anything else mm -hmm. about it, but you mm -mm. need to look into it. No, I don't want this, okay? I don't. I, what, what am I supposed to do? Be snooping and sneaking? Look, you need to go up there. I go up. Are you crazy? No, I'm not going up there. I will ask Anthony what this is all about. I'm not going up there, okay? Take it, Amber. I gotta go. But I wanted to give you this information because you need it. If there's nothing else, I'll leave it alone. If you look into it and it's over, it's over. Well, I'm not looking into it, okay? So, bye. Thank you, but goodbye. I love you. You got a funny way of showing it, boy.